In this chapter, we are going to cover the multi-value topic in Einstein analytics. Now, the multi-value has two aspects of it. First, we can read multi-value fields. And this is important in, for example, fields that are multi-value pick lists, or if you're reading even from some CSV or external data source that you can actually specify it's a multi-value and the separator. So this is very helpful when, for example, again, you have, for example, multiple uh, team members working on a bunch, bunch of cases. So you can import the field and specify that it is a multi-value. Again, if you go to the data flow, now this is something you cannot do with the data set builder, but if you go to the digest node of your um, reading the object, so for example, opportunity or account, you click on the SFDC Digest, you go to Select Fields, and as previously we've done this, we can say, for example, uh, Type. Let me click on Type. Sorry. Scroll from here. We already have selected this from Type. Go to Edit. And here you can say it's a multi-value, and you can specify the multi-value separator. So the engine will understand it's a multi-value separator. So if you have multiple rows, one with customer and the other one with, for some reason, customer comma client, then the count of customer is going to be the two, or it's going to realize that the customer exists in these two records. Now, the other way to use multi-value, we have the multi-value lookups. Now, the multi-value lookups help us in enriching the highly or the high data sets with aggregated data or some information. And I'll explain a use case in a bit. But first, how it works. If we look at this screen, let's say this is a data set at the opportunity level. So it's high than the, higher than the product data set on the right, which is at the product. This is kind of opposite to the way we actually do the data sets or aug augment them. We usually have the detailed ones, the lower ones on the left, and the higher ones on the right from a lookup perspective. But in this case, because we are going to specify that the augment is a lookup multi-value, multiple value, we have this on the left, we have this on the right. So what's going to happen is for each of these rows of the opportunity IDs, one of these, these three are going to collapse into one. Anything that's a text is going to have a comma just is going to be multi-value comma like this. And anything that's a number will aggregate. So we don't, we don't control this. It will just aggregate it. And again, it's not recommended to bring dates at all because, again, that's not going to be defined behavior. So let's stick to the dimensions and the uh, numbers or measures. So now for this record, I can see that all of these products are here. Now, this is not really helpful or actually recommended from a performance perspective to use, for example, this field in a group by. Uh, you might use it in a filter. But what we want actually is this total amount. So assume for a bit that the total amount was not here. Now, at the record, I was able to bring the total amount from the lower records. Unit value does not matter. If I look at my uh, book of products, for example, I will see nothing uh, priced as 370. So getting unit value at this level does not bring me any value. It's actually misleading, similarly to unit count. So the lookup multi-value, it's good in certain use cases. In cases where, for example, account data set, I want to bring for account data set, some information from case or I want some information from products all the way up to opportunities only even all the way up to accounts if you recall our uh, dashboard exercise where we added a product family at the bottom of the dashboard and it were it was two data sets now if we had aggregated some sort of a metric to the opportunity level we could have ended with one data set for example Let's go through this exercise and just show you, for example, how we uh, add aggregated data all the way up to account. Now, in this exercise, what we're going to do is get accounts. We already installed sales app, so accounts is there. Get cases. Again, if you have installed sales app, you will find them there. 
we are going to add a case counter. It's a simply, it's a flag, it's a one next to each row, so that when we do a multi-value augment, it's just going to add up the numbers and bring them up to the account level. So back to the data flow. Let's create a new data flow. We will call it add cases to account, for example. You don't have to use, uh, again, underscore, just as a matter of habit. So I am working on this environment. Doesn't matter that another data flow created the data sets that I need. So I can, I'm going to edge mart first load, for example, accounts. And I will search for accounts. Again, it's coming from the sales app. This is fine. Notice the API name versus the label. The other one, again, edge mart. So I'm going to load cases and search for cases. All right. Now I need a flag just to manually augment or count the number of cases. So if I aggregate ones is similar to counting. So again, I'm going to add a compute expression, adding count flag, let's call it count flag. Source is load cases. Merge, yes, I wanna keep the original fields for example, or you might actually drop them if you're not picking anything from cases, like the duration or something you want to aggregate. And add, call this case count flag for example. It's a numeric, and again, it's just one. Literally, all what I'm doing, if, if, I, if I assume this is cases for example, I'm just adding one, 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 one next to each row. So that if I have, for example, case one, so if I have C1 here, and then I have C2 here, C1, C2, C3, C4, and maybe I have A1, 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 A2. So when I do the multi-augment, these three ones are gonna add to three. So A, account one has three cases, account two has one cases, and so on. All right, let's go back to exercise. We're adding one, that's fine. Position is one, scale is zero, no problem. Default value is one, save. And hit create. Now that I add my compute expression, I'm going to add an augment. This is an augment. And it's gonna be flipped augment because again, accounts higher on the left, this one, count flag uh, on the right, lower. So augment, augment or add case counter to accounts. Left source is load accounts, left key you can call it cases. This is, uh, sorry, no, cases will be the ID of accounts in cases is called account ID. If I look for ID, this is uh, this is the left key in the uh, load accounts is actually ID. I am tying it up to account ID in cases. So I'm still within the left source, so it is the account ID. The relationship, we can call it cases. Right source is low, not load cases, it's the adding count flag. So I, I want to add this to this. Uh, right key now is account ID. So account ID in this node mat, maps or matches to load accounts. Right field, again, only bring the ones you care about. In this case, it was the flag or the case count flag, I already forgot what it was. Um, it's case count flag. And now operation will be lookup multiple values. This is the difference. It's a lookup multiple values, hit create. Now I need to register the result. So register, you can say enriched accounts with cases. And source node is the 
add case counter to account. That was the multi-value lookup. Alias, just use accounts with cases, accounts with cases, and hit create. So again, load accounts, cases, add the flag, multi-value lookup back to accounts, register this. So we, we will update this, update data flow, run data flow, and then we will check the results. So multi-value lookup is definitely something powerful in the product. Um, I do recommend to just understand the data concepts and what's happening with the multi-value lookup. You want to avoid using it heavily in uh, groups or group by. It's good for measures, like I said, uh, good for filtering, but don't use for group or ordering, uh, both from performance perspective and the other thing, actually, you will have hard time visualizing the multi-value uh, field in the table, for example, or directly in the UI as, as a detailed record. So let's see if this was done. It's done. Let's refresh. And again, the result is if I look for accounts with cases, the benefit is if this is about accounts, this case, uh, this data set is about accounts. So if I group by account name, I can also check the count of cases. So I know 358 has five cases, 372 has one, Acme has two, and so on. So this is very powerful because I brought the count of cases all the way up to the account.